good morning so in this particular uh, session you you are aware that in the previous session i have started with uh, projections of planes and also i have just uh, telling you with reference to h2 and vp we can place the plane in uh, different positions so depending upon that we have just classified into some three four different types and if you just remember in the previous session we have covered two cases one is a particular plane is parallel to one plane or parallel to both the planes then we consider a plane may be contained in a particular plane then also we consider a plane perpendicular to one of the reference planes okay now in this particular session we will just come to this particular case wherein we can say planes that is the plane figures or laminate perpendicular to one plane and inclined to other okay now already we have uh, seen these two cases that is if i just keep the plane like this you can just now tell me if i keep the plane in this way we know that this particular plane is parallel to hp but it is perpendicular to vp okay or i can just keep it in this way now i can say that this particular plane is parallel to vp but it is perpendicular to hp now a particular plane can be parallel to one plane or it may be perpendicular to another plane so that's what i told you now that in that particular case i can just keep it in this way that is this particular plane is perpendicular both hp as well as vp now if you just remember in all these cases we observed one thing what is that always i need to start from that particular view where that particular plane is parallel to one of the reference planes because we know that when a plane is parallel to a particular reference plane on that particular plane we can see the true shape and size that is the reason we used to start from that particular view is it okay now if i say a plane perpendicular to one plane and inclined to other for example if i just hold it in this way okay now if i incline like this then what will happen now as you can see this particular plane still it is perpendicular to what perpendicular to hp but it is inclined to what inclined to vp now i need to mention for example in this particular case the plane is inclined to vp now always remember inclination with reference to vp is given by what symbol it is given by phi that is this particular plane is inclined to vp by an angle phi now always remember the inclination of a plane is defined such that we can see this inclination in that particular plane where it is perpendicular for example if i hold in this particular way now as you can see this particular plane is perpendicular to hp but it is inclined to vp now where do you see the inclination phi remember always i told you that in the top view we see the vp details now since this particular plane i kept in this way this particular plane is perpendicular to hp since it is perpendicular to hp it will be seen as what there it will be seen as a line there that will say that in the top view if i extend that particular line because anyway that particular plane will be seen as a line no so that particular line if i extend and if i extend that particular line to meet the plane so which plane it will be it will be the vp so that the inclination of the plane will be seen in that view where it where it the lamina should be seen as a line that is if the lamina is seen as a line on that particular plane or we can see the inclination for example if i am holding in this way now this particular plane is perpendicular to vp but it is parallel to hp now let us say if i incline like this now what is happening now now this particular plane even though still it is perpendicular to vp it is inclined to hp okay now how do you define inclination now anyway this particular plane is inclined to hp now where do you see the details of hp is details of hp is will be seen in front view okay now again in the same analogy this particular plane since it is perpendicular to vp it will be seen as a line here so let us say if i just draw the projection i am just going to get this as a line now now if i extend this line to meet the plane so which plane it will meet it will meet the hp 
then I can see the inclination. So always remember the inclination of the plane will be shown in that view wherein the lamina should be seen as a line. So if the lamina is seen as a line, in that particular view I can see the inclination of the plane. Okay, now anyway, as we illustrated, we can get two cases. So what are the two cases? One is, I can say the lamina is perpendicular to HP and inclined to VP or the lamina is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP. Okay, let us consider one by one. Case A. Now let us say, plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Now I need to solve the problem wherein the lamina is or the plane is perpendicular to HP, I mean perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Now generally this particular case or this particular problem will be done in two stages. So what are the two stages? Anyway remember in the first stage I will consider the lamina is parallel to one plane and perpendicular to other which already we have done. So that is stage one. In stage two I am going to show the inclination. Now since I want to do this particular case I need to, I said that this can be done in two stages. Two stages. Okay. So what are the stages? We have the initial stage we say. So we say initial stage. And next is, I will say final stage. Okay, now what about this initial stage? So in the initial stage, we know that the lamina should be parallel to one plane and perpendicular to other. Okay, now anyway, corresponds to this case, how do you consider this uh, initial stage? Now we see that here I wanted the plane to be perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Now what I should do is, initially, I will assume that lamina to be parallel to HP. Remember, since it is inclined to HP, I will assume initially to be parallel to HP. Since the lamina is parallel to HP, where do you see its uh, true shape and size? We see true shape and size in the top view. So I will draw the top view first. Okay. After drawing the top view, I will draw the front view. So front view, how would you see? It is another line. That particular line will be parallel to XY line. Anyway, I know that I need to show the inclination to HP. And anyway, I told you just now that I can show the inclination with reference to HP in that particular view where in the lamina is seen as a line. So where it is seen as a line? In the front view. So, in the front view, I am going to rotate the plane or I am going to show the inclination. Now, another point. Anyway, I told you that this particular case, the lamina is inclined to HP. Now, I assume that lamina is parallel to HP. Okay, then what I should do? I will draw the initial position. Then, I am going to rotate. But, now, you should remember. Anyway, I told you that this particular case, I need to start from top view. Once you decide that I should start from top view, now I should decide about the orientation. So without orientation, because in whichever way I keep it, always I can just draw like this, then I can simply lift it. But you just see this. If I hold it in this way, I am just showing in this way, you can just see this. This is my position. Now, anyway, this particular lamina is resting on HP. Now there are two options. Either I can lift like this, or I can lift like this. But now see what is happening. Now as you can see, if I lift like this, then what about this particular side? That side, I can say this is the side, this particular side, maybe either resting on HP or parallel to HP. Or if I lift like this, I can say it is resting on a corner. Obviously, to draw the initial position or to draw the top, you, I need to get the details. So how do you get the details? That particular detail has to be derived from the problem statement. So in the problem statement, I can say that we have a lamina of the team website which is resting on one of the sides on the ground. Then the lamina is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. If I give in that particular way, then I know that one of the sides has to rest on the ground. So since I want this particular side to rest on the ground, I need to orient in this way. Okay, for example, if I orient like this, what will happen? If I orient in this particular way, then rest on a corner. But let us say if I don't get that particular statement at all, then what will happen? If 
For example, a particular student will do like this. Another student will do like this. Another student will do like this. But still I can lift them. But even if I lift them, it will rest on some corner. It will not be the corner where it makes equal inclinations. So thereby, we are going to get hundreds of solutions. But anyway, I want students to do a particular unique solutions. So what are the unique solutions for this particular problem? The unique solution may be either I can say it rests on HP or I can say it is one of the side is parallel to HP or I can say rest on a corner. So always remember in the problem I would have given that particular statement saying that we have a pentagonal lamina of 30 mm side resting on a corner on the HP. Then I would have given the inclination as that is a 30 degree of HP, you draw the projections. So now, as you can see, whenever I want to do problems in this particular plane, perpendicular to one plane and inclined to other, I need to do in two stages. Though in the initial stage, as you can see in this particular case, since the lamina is inclined to HP, I will assume lamina to be parallel to HP. Since the lamina is parallel to HP, the true shape and size will be seen in top view. I will start from top view. Now, once you decide, I need to start from top view. The next point I should decide is the orientation. So, what about the orientation? Just now I said, depending upon whether this particular lamina, while it is, that is, before it is inclining, whether it is resting on a corner, whether it is resting on a side. Depending upon that, I need to draw the top view. Okay, now tell me, let us say, if I say that one of the sides is resting on the ground, I am going to lift like this. Okay, now tell me what about this particular side which is resting on the ground with reference to BP? How it will be? You can just see that this particular side will be perpendicular to BP. Remember, so if I say that if I want a particular side to rest on the ground, that means say that in the initial state, that particular side should be kept perpendicular to XY or perpendicular to BP in the top view. That is case 1. Case 2 is, if I say that it is resting on a corner, then I can draw the top view such that the corner containing the two sides should make equal inclinations or I can also say that this corner and the center of the lamina, if I join it, those two points which is a line, that particular line should be parallel to VP. So, if you remember these two cases, you can do any problem in place. Okay, anyway, let us do a problem based on this.